we're now drilling a hole oh, into the bathroom. Oh, yeah, it's oh. <laughs> we're not yet doing it. We need to prepare. Right, this is the first hole into the van wall for him. And he is super, super worried. Right, so what's going to happen? We just measured 3,000 times and figured out we're going to put the fan over here because the cable's running somewhere around this area. He didn't mark it because he forgot about it uh, when he put the cables in. So we just have to <laughs> have to hope that they're around here and we can fiddle them out somehow to connect the fan. And uh, yeah, so the fan's gonna come around that spot. And here, we have to maybe to move this box, this box, but it doesn't matter, just around here. Let's do it. See how damaged the wall's gonna get with that. to go through the OSB. Here we go with the jigsaw, cutting out the piece.
<laughs> and we found the cables, the long missing cables. Right. So far, so good. Hole is there from the inside. Now, the hole from the outside needs to be drilled in. There's a tiny pilot hole in there so he can see where he needs to drill. And then go from there. The, we connected that fan already, it's very powerful. And then, <clears throat> then it's gonna get fitted and sealed in. I am so excited. We finally have a bathroom fan. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you just... <laughs> the windows are fucking jamming. Oh dear. Come on down. I did that as tight as you could as well. No! <laughs> oh, it's... No, it's gone. It just bit as it went through. See outside. Oh, you can see outside. I don't know if this is going to cut through or not. It should do, isn't we'll it? We'll soon find out. Well, it's quite flexy, isn't it? Oh. I don't like how wobbly that's getting. No. Yeah, I know. It's, it's going, but... It's going through somehow. Is that smoking? Hmm? Yeah, it's hot. Cause it's... Oh, that, that thing is smoking now. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> now we have to chisel this all out and make it bigger.
So that's what it looks like, connected everything. You didn't want to drill the outside hole from the van bigger, so you can see. I'm going to try to turn it. It's not flush with the outside of the fan. He said it's fine like that, so we're just going to leave it at that. I have the feeling that it's going to be condensation build up anytime soon because it's obviously not flush with the outside, but we will see in due time. We'll see. So he's going to switch it on now, see how it works, how it sounds like. It did something and then stopped. It feels like it's. It sounded like it's scratching on something. What is that? Is that the cables on the side? This hole needs to be bigger because it's pinching like cold in. So it needs to be ever so slightly bigger. It's not opening up outside, is it? Let's see if it works. Look how it's blowing open. That's a bit better, Mr. Mechanic. Right, it looks much better since the opening is way bigger. So it actually is drafting out now. I feel it and the lid is opening up from the outside. It's all a bit dirty now. And still we need to push up in a bit more and then seal it up. But that is so much better. And here it is. Bathroom fan finished. And we decided to put a switch next to it. To be able to switch it on and off as we wish. And not run to the fuse box every time we need to switch it on and off. So yeah, that is a very good extension. And it works absolutely well. Watch this. Brilliant! Brilliant, brilliant! That is the waterproof cover. I want to switch to product from humidity or water because of the shower. <sighs> nice! And it's very loud. As you could hear, it's very loud, but it works and we can switch it off if we don't need it.